So she has a minion on her, gets destroyed, she's getting that little added extra bonus of mana. Pretty sweet. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we are doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Bertilia. This woman is a stacked powerhouse. Looks like she's about to audition for the next season of Game of Thrones. If they ever produce one, I'm pretty sure she'll make it. She's got 718 on her attack, 774 on her defense, and 1367 on her health. Statistically, the attack power, it's okay, it's not that great. Defensive-wise, though, her defensive stats at 774 is pretty awesome, and she's got a pretty great health total at 1367. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free, massive, turn-based dark fantasy RPG. If you want a huge head start in Raid, all you gotta do, go to the link in the description. If you're a new player in the next 30 days, you will get a one-day XP boost, three Raid Flasks, one Ancient Shard, one Void Champion Bulwark, and 50 gems. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. She is running at slow speed. She is this brand new hero of the month. She also comes with two abilities, these passive abilities, which is pretty cool because this is the first hero of the month that we've seen that. So she has her typical, this hero has the innate ability to resist ailments that affect accuracy. This does not apply to status effects from allies. So what that means is if you fire June into her, she says, I can still see, doesn't matter. However, if you're using her paired with Wukong or Ranveer, definitely gets impacted by that accuracy decrease. And she also comes with a new passive ability where this hero gains a small amount of mana when the minion owned by them is destroyed. So if she has a minion on her, gets destroyed, she's getting that little added extra bonus of mana. Pretty sweet. As far as her hero special goes, she deals 290% damage to all enemies. Lifts all cleansable status of ailments that affect attack or defense from all allies and randomly distributes them on the enemies. And then she also has an elemental link where she summons a nature minion for all nature allies with 5% HP and 10% attack inherited from the caster. So what I really like about that is her elemental link plays into her mana ability that when they're destroyed she's going to gain the mana not to mention that these little minions they're only going to be at five percent hp so they're going to die pretty quickly she's going to be gaining the mana and there's a lot of man there's a lot of minion stuff going around so that could impact the board quite a bit as far as her hero special goes i think that there's a lot to be desired especially for slow heroes i think that sg has really really raised the bar on slow heroes really expecting a lot out of them because there are so many amazing heroes that are running at average speed and at fast speed to where you really got to be doing a lot so where she is dealing 290 percent damage that is definitely relevant but her ability to lift all cleansable effects and throw them at the enemies i wish that it was all effects i think that that would have been fine but i don't really like that it's only attack and defense but those are maybe the most common so I don't know. I think that there is some usage there. There is a lot of things that you gotta kind of get around. But unfortunately, if you just throw tiles into her and she just keeps on repeatedly going off, and you're kind of waiting before they, you know, they um, are releasing their their effects and stuff like that, and you're worried about that, you're still gonna be getting hit by it. So I think that you can't really time her out that well because 290% damage to all enemies is gonna be relevant. I just don't know how often you're gonna see her going off multiple times. One thing that I love about her though is she's a fighter class hero which definitely is relevant but they're coming back from the dead there's going to be cases she goes off she's going to deal 290% damage we see this happen with kill hair you're like oh cool kill hair is dead and then she's like nope I'm alive I'm going to deal a whole bunch of damage to all of your guys and I'm going to make this a very unfortunate situation for you so I do like that she is a fighter class hero that is pretty awesome there uh, so if you're looking to add some emblems on her, I would probably go more of the defensive route. She's a very stout character. I think you could go into the attack power. The attack power is going to be really important there too. 
Maybe you go more of a balanced approach as far as distributing emblems because you do want her to stay alive depending on if you're throwing her in like a tank position or a defensive position, that could be relevant. But I do see a lot of people probably taking a position where we're just gonna go all attack. We want this lady to be dealing a whole bunch of damage at the 290%. That's what she does, she deals a whole bunch of damage. So we're gonna focus on attack. So probably I think it's fine to go attack, defense, and health as a prioritization. And if you have the, the option between mana or defense, as far as the special nodes, you want to increase the mana for sure. Increasing our mana is going to be really, really important. When we take a look at her Titan grade, she is going to get a B- minus on Titan. I don't really appreciate anything that she does against the Titan. She does have the 718 attack. I guess that's fine. Maybe I'm a little bit too critical, but I don't really see it being too much of an issue. Uh, they're not really going to be uh, having an issue to where you're getting the you like you have to really time out the negative effects from the Titan to throw it back to the Titan. So I think that that's probably not the best option, especially with her running at slow speed. Maybe it helps out with the whole uh, the whole minion thing. When the minion dies, she's going to be getting uh, some mana from it, and maybe kind of pair her with some other characters that are going to give you some minions but against the titan i'm not really seeing it she's going to get a b minus grade maybe this goes into a b we take a look at her offensive grade she is going to get an a minus grade i do see this being used pretty pretty good because you can pair her with just about any other character that's going to be giving defensive down or elemental defensive down you figure you got evelyn you got buddy those are going to be really awesome use them first and then you have her and she just kind of can clear out the whole way be pretty cool i do like that what, what she does on offense not to mention there are a lot of characters that are going to be giving uh, minions. You don't have to have her be the one that's going to generate the minions. You could, like I said, again, pair her with Buddy. Buddy goes off average speed, giving her a minion. It dies. It's going to give her some, uh, some, some uh, mana there. So that's pretty cool there. So she is going to get an A-. minus. Maybe this is close to an A. I think there is a potential there. But I think that an A-, minus. there's definitely relevancy with using this character. But still a lot to be desired now when we look at her tank rate she is going to get an a as far as the tank rate goes i think that this might be the best position for her overall with her dealing 290 percent damage and then she's also setting it up so if there's anything negative that's done to you on your attack and defense she just throws it right back at them so i think that that could be a factor especially because she's got a decent amount of life and a decent amount of health total i don't see her really taking over like heemdale in that spot or even Teleria. I think that there is still some pretty awesome green tanks, but I think that she probably fits in there. That's probably her best position. She's gonna get an A grade there. Now, when we look at her flank grade, she is gonna get a B plus. I think that this could be used. I'm not a big fan of her being at slow speed, kind of relevant, but um, I don't know if you're gonna really be able to lift the cleansable effects. That could be a factor a little bit there. But usually slow speed characters, you want to be running more at average and hitting the multiple heroes. So it could be relevant. She's got a B plus. Maybe that goes into an A minus. Kind of the same situation with her in the wing. She's currently going to get an A minus. I think that she could be used in the very far corner. If you're going to be using this character, it's one of those things to where she goes off. You're going to be quite upset. I don't like that she's running at slow speed. So that definitely is a big major factor against her. But she's still going to be a pain in the butt to go through. If you've got a way to give her some mana and she goes off, you're going to feel it for sure. So she is going to get an overall defensive grade of an A-. I think that her being in the tank position might be a good position for her. There is a possibility there in the wing. I think A- is kind of where she's at. Now when we get into her weekly raid grade, she is going to get an A- plus on rush attack. She's an absolute monster, running at very fast speed. She's setting it up so if they do anything negative to you in terms of your attack or defense, you throw it all back. Not to mention with her running at very fast speed, you can really time things out for sure. And 290% damage is definitely going to be relevant. It's a lot. You're going to be killing them quick. I love this character on rush attack. She's going to get the A plus grade there. Now, when we look at her buff rate, she is going to get an A minus on buff, which obviously, I mean, she's really sweet by taking any cleansable effects on your guys and throwing them back with their attack or defense that's pretty awesome there the only issue is, is that she's running at slow speed and you really got to kind of time things to where that makes relevancy so i think that she gets dinged a little bit there but still pretty awesome on buff she's gonna get an a minus and on bloody battle currently she's gonna get a b plus i think this could maybe go into an a minus with her dealing damage it is pretty awesome there 
uh, 290%. I just worry with her being at slow speed. Uh, but I think that that might go up. We'll see. Slow speed is definitely a factor, though. So when we look at her overall grade, she is going to get currently a B plus. I could see this being a character that goes into an A minus. There is a possibility for an A. I don't see her extending out further than that, but still a really cool character. If you get her, I would say that this is probably one of the better hero of the months that we've gotten as of late. So I think that she's definitely worth it to grab one. I don't think you need to lose sleep over it if you don't get her, but still a pretty cool character. So let me know in the comments. Did I get this right? Did I get this wrong? Thanks so much for watching the content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video.